Where did it come from 26? A cross out video by Dangerously Incompetent. Starting this Where Did It Come From video with something new. The Saviour has arrived. Yes, right, in the light, regular and deluxe. Let's have a look at the light, shall we? What do we get in this pack? We get bluish smoke, which is unique to packs, but it was in the Eater of Souls light pack as well. Then we get the Saviour Cabin, which is the whole new thing in this pack. Let's have a closer look at it. So it's a heavy cabin, so it's a bit slow. And its Brucey bonus is, after dealing collision damage, increase the damage of all weapons. Well, but you're slow. You're big and slow. How often you get... Well, you're going to have to catch people on the hop or catch people when they're engaged, butting against each other, and then you blunder in and bash into them. Oh, it's got a horn. Of course it's got a horn. Let's hear the horn, shall we? Awe inspiring. Worth buying for the horn alone. <laughs> what else we got? Uh, Snowfall. That's unique to packs, and it's not in any of the regular packs that are regularly in the shop, but they are in uh, one of the one of the uh, explosives, it's explosive Santa. What's the other one called from Snowstorm? One of the Snowstorm packs is in that. But this is where it's going to appear regularly. Well, in the regular version. Uh, let me craft the razor back. Fender extender is in the decal container. Headlight is in the decal container. Round brake light in the decal container. And oh, there's a paint cab can in in the pack that isn't used in the slate grey smoke I think that's new that is Saviour also comes in the regular version which will be around for, for ages for years what do we get in the regular version we get grey ice paint and that's new and unique to this pack and it's um, light grey glossy Saviour Cabin again, Snowfall Rocket Launcher again, Craftable, Craftable, cra Bigfoot Wheels. Bigfoot Spare, which is not in the decor container, but it has been out before. It must have been in some pack somewhere. Exhaust 2 is in the decor container. Midnight Paint is in lots of packs. Square Cover, Headlight and Rand Brake Light are all in the Decor container. Uh, there's some prestige parts in there, isn't there? Poof, poof, poof. And nothing over there. So that's the regular. Now the deluxe. Ooh, 65 euro. What do you get for your 65 euro that's unique and tradable? Truck exhaust pipe. Now this is unique to the deluxe pack look at that yes trucker how much is it going for <laughs> quite a lot oh well it'll come back and the price will drop eventually gleam of the north paint and that's brand new and unique to this pack which is oh so color shifty mmm color shifty and shiny and purpley and sky bluey oh lovely and uh, what a lovely price for it too Save your cabin, snowfall, oh, rocket launcher, craftable, 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 Bigfoot spare, unique to this pack, and it must be unique in some other pack as well. Well, not unique to packs, it's, it's in another pack as well because I've seen it before. And external tank, ooh, haven't seen those around for a while. They've been around before, I cannot remember where you got them from, but they're already banging around the market but otherwise unique to this pack to the deluxe pack as well midnight paint in lots of packs square cover headlight and round brake light in the decor container some prestige parts poof, poof, poof. and over here we do have rise of the machines sticker that is unique to the savior deluxe version and big dipper sticker which is unique to Savior Deluxe Pack. And now some time limited offers from the shop that I need to cover before they expire. Quick, hurry, bye 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 before it's gone. Fear of missing out. Ah!
Ah, what is that? Drive. Discounted, apparently, for cross crowns. Hang about. This is a regular pack. It's always in the shop. There it is. Drive is always in the shop. Twenty-five euro. And that's 169. Oh, uh, cross games. How many? 114 euro to buy it with cross crowns and 25 euro to buy it for regular money. But it turns up discounted in winter sales, spring sales, or sometimes. But anyway, let's go over it really quickly. Eggplant paint is unique to this pack. Braid. I'm going to say is unique to this pack, but it might be in other packs. Topper is unique to this pack. Probably. Might be in other packs. Favourite cabin. That's unique to this pack, and it's a good cabin. If you're just starting out and cross out, this is a good epic cabin to have. Because it uh, clears or stops your weapons heating up anymore. So it's good for shotguns and machine guns and auto cannons and, and some other stuff as well keep you going long time cheetah engine you yeah, can craft all these stickers are unique to this pack aubergine drive safe driver 96 jack oops wrong pedal petroglyphs stay back and wild style pierces craftable midnight paint is in lots of packs some prestige parts and that's what you get for 169 cross counts. Also returning for a limited period only, the Patron Deluxe Edition. What's unique to the Deluxe? Breath of Darkness, that's unique to the Deluxe Edition. Nephrite Paint is unique to Patron Packs. Dead Man Cabin, unique to dead, uh, Patron Packs. Power Unit is unique to the Patron Pack. Claw Wheel, unique to the Patron Packs. Seal of Authenticity, unique to the Deluxe Edition. And the Short Yellow Lamp, Yellow Lamp and Long Yellow Lamp, all unique to the Deluxe Edition. And some prestige parts that you can unlock later or get in your exchange for Engineer's Badges. And there's something else here it is. Wasteland Warrior has returned. I thought it was a new pack, but it's actually a returning pack. It's been around before. So Dark Red Paint is probably unique to this pack. And Scorched Earth, unique to this pack. Exhaust 2 in the decor container. Fender Extender, decor container. Spoiler, decor container. Huntsman Cabin, oh, we can craft them. Headlights in the decor container, hell lamp in the decor container, and that's your lot. Not even any prestige parts. Some more customization stuff has returned to the shop for cross crowns. Why would you bother? They're all tradable on the market. Buy them off the market for coins, which you can get by playing. Why would you spend money to get these? I don't know. Some people must have money to burn. Lunatic Graffiti, what we got in here? We've got Graffiti Paint, that's not new. Scratch Stripes, that's not new. Speed, that's not new. And Stay Away Sticker, they're, they're all not new. They're all on the market, they're all tradable. And Corporate Style, Corporate Style Paint. Yeah, we've seen that before. Oni Sticker, yeah, these are all from Seasons Past. And Hayakutaki, yep, tradable. And they've been back in packs before, well, not so long ago, a few months ago. And Syndicate Deck are the same. Kuwagata Exhaust Pipes and Wacky Dati Decor. Massive great big wing. Yeah, been around before from the Syndicate season. And there's some other custom kits, but you can't trade them, so I'm not interested. Guess who's back in the shop? It's the Catalina pack. The cabin's still popular. So why not put the Deluxe Edition back in the shop at a discount? Yay! You must be so happy if you bought it right <laughs> as soon as it came out. Done it before, let's do it quickly again. Burn Injury is unique to Catalina Deluxe Pack. Red Moon Paint is unique to packs. Twin Exhaust, unique to packs. Tail Fin Brake Light is unique to Catalina Deluxe Cabin. Catalina Cabin is unique to the Catalina Packs. 
and today's special model module is unique to the Catalina packs. Then we've got buggy wheels which are craftable. Retribution fire, hologram sticker. Ooh, almost cheap enough to buy one. I'm going to buy one. I'll put a low offer on. Oh, I haven't got any. <laughs> yep, there we go. That's that's a going price for epic decor. So let's have that. Uh, stickers. Black circle and white square came originally from a season and now they're appearing in packs. So they're not just unique to the Catalina. Eyelash sticker and the walking stick sticker are unique to Catalina Deluxe. Midnight paint is unique to packs, but there's loads of them. White paint is not unique at all. It comes in a deck or a paint container. And then there's also lipstick paint, which is unique to the Catalina packs. That's a lot for the Catalina pack. But there's also some customization stuff. These, these are not tradable, so boo. Signs of the Founders. These are all trainable, but they all came from a oh, Founders season. Orange grid paint. Work process sticker. Heavy load sticker. Fracture sticker. Dead end sticker. Loads of them in the shop. Loads of them in the market, rather. And so uh, they're dead cheap. Don't buy the pack. Don't buy the customization pack. Just buy them off the market. Holograms from the Founders season as well in a pack in the shop for Crossgrounds. Chief Engineer, Roadwork and Detour all came from the season and there's loads of them banging around on the market so they're cheap. And that's all the new customization. The news tells me there's a lunar sale now on. I don't remember there being a lunar sale, that's new. A new reason for a sale. So more stuff returning probably let's have a look oh look here we are rascal deluxe edition returns for cross and an alleged discount breath of a snowstorm paint that is unique to rascal deluxe foxtail is unique to the rascals covering trails is not tradable boo yokai energy weapon unique to the rascal packs interceptor unique to the rascal packs long red lamp Red lamp and short red lamp for all your brake light needs are unique to the Rascal Deluxe Pack. As are Before the Thunderstorm sticker and Fox's Squint sticker. And Midnight Paint is in loads of packs. What else we got? Inventor. Inventor? That disappeared from the shop. It was last chance to buy, never coming back again because it was replaced by the creation to, to carry the... Uh, Icarus IVs and... No, the Icarus IVs, that's what that pack's all about. And the same for Arachnophobia. That was gone forever last year. But it has returned for the Lunar Sale. Because the Step Spider is now in the regular pack, is in Arachnida for the mechanical legs in the Step Spider cabin. Ah, right, let's go over it quickly then. Red Moon Paint, unique to packs. White Sun paint unique to packs. Icarus 4 hovers. That's the slower, more durable, more tonnage hovers. Unique to packs. To the inventor and the creation pack. And brake light is in the decor container. Headlights in the decor container. Let's have do arachnophobia while we're doing old, old packs. Camouflage crater paint. That's unique to arachnophobia camouflage web that's unique to arachnophobia and my my stocks of those two paints will be going down in value thank you very very much step spider is unique to arachnophobia and arachnida packs mechanical leg is unique you can't, can't yes you can craft them not unique at all craftable decor exhaust 2 is in the decor container tail light is in the decor container Square cover in the decor container. Headlights in the decor container. Anything else over here? Nope. Right. And Pestilence Deluxe. Burning, all your burning needs. Heat paint is unique to Pestilence Deluxe. But it keeps on coming back so it never goes up in price. 
<laughs> I have a very large stock of them. Bought at exorbitant prices. What's it down to now? 30. I bought it. Oh, I don't like to think about that. Strain paint is unique to pestilence. Egg left and egg right are unique to pestilence to luck. As are the black rat sticker and the swamp rat sticker and the white horse sticker. And we have the blight cabin unique to pestilence packs and remedy flame weapon unique to pestilence packs and fever brake light unique to pestilence deluxe. And is that it? Oh, that's a custom kit, isn't it? And victory paint which is unique to pestilence. The open beta anniversary packs have returned to the shop. Again. What have we got? We've got Born to Fly. What's in here? Aluminium paint. That's in other packs. Lightning paint. That is unique to this pack. Golden Eagle engine is in other packs. Outer fender in the decal container. Hell pipes in the decal container. Round brake light in the decal container. Midgar pack, what have we got here? Carbon paint, that's in other packs as well. Flame paint, that is unique to this pack. Horns are in the decal container. Exhaust 2 in the decal container. Fender extender in the decal container. Spoiler in the decal container. Bedroll in the decal container. Square cover in the decal container. Headlight in the decal container. And headlights in the decal container. Tramp pack, what have we got? Mirage Metallic is in other packs, I believe. Digital Desert is unique to Tramp Pack. Exhaust 2 is in the Decal Container. Bear Cabin is in other packs. And Square Cover is in the Decal Container. Immortal Warrior is a bit tanky. Quartz Paint is in other packs. Willow the Wisp is unique to this pack, and it's a glowy green looks really nice in the twilight or if they ever bring back night battles again. Exhaust 2 is in the decal container. Carapace cabin is in other packs. And bedroll is in the decal container. And headlights is in the decal container. More packs on sale. No reason, just because. We have Keeper Deluxe Edition. Done it before, let's do it again. Half light paint is unique to packs, I think, but I can't find where it is. Twin exhaust is unique to packs. Blue lamp, long blue lamp, short blue lamp are all unique to Keeper Deluxe Edition. As is Azure Dragon paint. Dark gold paint is unique to the Keeper. And the Young Wang grenade launcher unique to the Keeper. No parts. No extra bits there? Nope. Corrida, which is a regular pack, usually available, but it's on discount. El Dorado is unique to the Corrida pack. Mad Bull, unique to this pack. Corno Destro and Corno Sinestro are unique to packs. Muleta Wing is unique to this pack. Torero Cabin, unique to this pack. And Cheetah Engine, we can craft. And round brake light is in the deco container, and there are, of course, some, some premium parts in here. Both right shoulder, shoulders, caridas, and nothing extra over here. And there was a decor thing, so into customization packs. We've got these custom kits that are not tradable. Military decor parts, none of those are tradable. So we're not interested in them, are we? So, but Valley Holograms, they are tradable. We have the Navigator, which was from, what was it called? Season, was it the Valley? No, Founders Returns or something. It was from a season. Rathacan, that's from a season. And the Stop Indicator, that's in a season. Well, from a season. Now it's in the Decor Bundle. Customization bundle, whichever. It's February, and you know what that means? Yes, that's right. 
buying swanky chocolates on the cheap on the 15th. Huzzah! Yum, yum, yum. Oh, and the Catholic Church probably celebrates for Valentine's Day as well. Though why they celebrate a bunch of Chicago gangsters massacring another bunch of Chicago gangsters is beyond me. It's very odd. But that's religions all round. Just plain odd. Anyway, there's a Valentine's Day pack. Let's have a look at it. It's returned. It's exactly the same as it was last year. So let's go over it. What have we got? We've got the lollipop paint, which is pink and shiny. Unique to this pack. We've got aluminium, which is unique to packs. We have the Quick and the Dead sticker, which is unique to this pack. Brake light, which is in the decor container. Jockey cabin is in this pack, and it's also in Day of the Dead pack, which will be along later in the year, I expect. And, oh, stallion medium wheels. These are the ones that go bouncy up and down. And steering, and the steering version thereof. And that's your pack. Anything over here? Nope. That's your pack if you want it. Also in the shop at this chocolatey time, there are some more customization packs. Oh, let's have a look. Give me a hug bundle. Give me a hug horn. Oh, should we hear it? Uh, oh, we can't hear it from here. Oh, and it's not tradable anyway. So your boo sucks to you. I've got one though. I didn't buy it out of the pack. Where has it gone? Give me a hug. I got it. Got it from where did I get it from? Some some season or or special or something. Because I didn't buy it. I might have bought it for coin in the shop. But I certainly didn't spend any real money. Let's have a listen, shall we? How can you say no to having that horn? What else have we got? Oh that pack what else is that in that pack? No, not tradable, uh, paint, and heart of steel, or old iron balls, as I prefer to call it, if you mount it upside down, of course. <laughs> That's not tradable either. Ah, rubbish. Paint pack, what have we got here? Coral paint, which is tradable, it's less pink, but that's in the paint container, I believe. I'll check that. Paint container, where are you going? Paint container... Parameters. Yeah, there we go. Coral paint, you can get it out. It's common enough. Why would you buy it in the shop? You can buy it off the market. Ocean paint is also tradable, and there's plenty of that floating around. And Valentine's Day paint, which is a bit rarer, but this it was around last year, so there's plenty of that banging around too. But they're all tradable. Good, good, good. That's what we like to see. Keep that market moving. Quick in the heart. Bunch of stickers. Which are all not tradable. Boo. Pa. Uh, what else was that? Oh, yes. The Maximus pack. A, a portrait and a paint. For 69 cross cans. You got, you'd have to be mad. Anyway, perforation paint has been around before. There's plenty on the market. It's silvery with some holes stamped into it. That's it for listing where parts came from in this video. But there's one more thing I want to say to you, and that is, where's the saviour pack gone? It's not in the shop anymore. There was the saviour light and saviour regular and saviour deluxe a couple of weeks ago. And, and the Deluxe and the Light went away, as is normal with, with the packs. But the regular pack has not stayed in the shop. Every other Deluxe and, and Light and regular pack, the regular stays on. And that's where the, all these have come from. All these, all these had Lights and Regulars and Deluxe, and the Regulars are still there. I didn't notice them... Uh, advertising saying oh it's not coming it's going away and it's last chance to buy but then i probably didn't read the the notice the news article saying so very very well and if you go back in the video you can see when i cover the savior regular pack it actually has an expiry date on it only 11 plus days when i recorded it so so they did tell you but they didn't exactly advertise the fact and that's got me to wondering 
Are they going to do something funky with it? Are they going to do something funky with the Saviour Cabin, which is the unique part in that pack? Are they going to do something like make it the first pack cabin that's used in a recipe to make something else? I wouldn't put it past them, you know. So with that in mind, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy some in as an investment. I bought one for myself and then bought one as a bit of a gamble because it's just a new cabin. Who knows what price is going to do. But now, seeing as you can't get it in the shop anymore and it's a bit rarer and I wonder whether they're going to do something funky with it. So I think I shall... Oops, five, how many, five ten. That's a good price. I'm going to buy a few more as an investment. Anyway, that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, and watch more dangerously incompetent crossout videos. In fact, just watch more crossout videos. That'd be acceptable. Even other people's crossout videos. Persuade YouTube's algorithm that crossout videos are great and it should promote them to people because if they do then more people will watch it then if more people watch it more people become aware of it and more people think oh that's a cool game let's go play that and we'll have more players so watch more dangerously incompetent videos for preference and other people's if you really have to but anyway that's really it see you around